Season 2 of Young, Famous and African is literally shaking this continent and I'm here for it. Okay? <laughs> Things got so heated this season that several cast members have taken to the socials to either blast each other or blame their messiness on the editing. I love it when people blame everything on the producers. Like, girl, we didn't see you talking all the smack in front of the camera. Stop with this whole Hi, personality. Everybody. What are you saying about it? How about you own it? <laughs> Just kidding. There's also a lot of chat online right now about how the show is totally scripted. As far as reality shows kind of follow a specific narrative and structure in terms of storyline, yeah, you can say it is scripted. But scripting an entire docu-style reality series, that's kind of impossible to do. Don't make me talk about the shows I've worked on, okay? Hey. <laughs> Stick around as we look at each cast member's big mess this season in this video. Spill the tea in the comments, hit the like button, and subscribe to this here joint. We're getting started out with Eni and Tubaba. They are supposed to be the perfect African music power couple, giving glimpses of a nice traditional nuclear family fantasy. After all, Innocent Idibia, better known as Two Face and sometimes as Two Baba, is already a legendary Nigerian musical powerhouse. But on Young, Famous, and African, his whole vibe has raised many questions. Annie has been on the verge of tears in every confessional. I'm sure the producers would say, Hello Annie, let's start filming. And she would flat out start crying. And what a shame, because she's such a sweetheart. Again this season, his alleged cheating was the talk of the town. His wife Annie revealed that her hubby had already cheated on her with several women. Also, she may have been there before anyone else, even before he became famous, but she was not even the first one to have kids with this man. I mean. My first child is his fifth, and I met him before everybody. So you know what that is? She said on the reality show. In October last year, T was Tubaba was expecting yet another child outside of the marriage, this time with the banker. Any on the show shut down that rumor, saying it's an old story that keeps popping back up. Clap if you care. Clap if you, clap if you care. The internet has not been about this life. Doja Flat yelled at Andelin Mube for tiptoeing around this man being allegedly for the streets. Andile, please stop with the foolishness. Talking about, I want that. I want someone to grow old with to two Baba and Enim. Or if you don't drop the tomfoolery. <laughs> Mube might not be one to call out to Baba though, seeing as he also brought out his two baby mamas to come and shade each other at someone else's birthday party this season. Annie's emotions were not spared even by her friends, Swanky Jerry, who was incredibly extra this entire season. We obviously love us some Jeremiah. We definitely love and want to keep him around because he epitomizes what the premise of the show is all about. He's rich, he's powerful, he's well connected, he is black excellence. He gives us the drama, the fashions, honey, the over the top grandiosity. This man is a confetti bomb of high fashion and drama. He is also a diva, apparently, even to his own friends. I didn't get why this mini feud with Annie had to go on that long. Felt a little dragged out for a storyline and it wasn't a good look. The cold shoulder treatment towards Annie and then expecting her to be the one that apologizes over and over to his satisfaction. I was like, I mean, I get that you are a superstar, but please let's calm down a little from time to time. Andy Lengube gets the most beautiful women, like literally ever, and they all want him back, apparently. Men's decided that Zari's birthday would be the perfect place to bring Rosette and Siba together so that they can hash out their differences. It was delicious to watch the hands throw swipes at each other across the table, because this is a reality show and we are paying a lot of money for something to happen. Anything to happen. <laughs> but it was also kind of whack, you know, scripted or not, for Andile to allow that to happen to the mothers of his children. 
Even worse, he did not even intervene until the cameras had captured their moment. Also, Zari's birthday party was the perfect place for the family therapy session to happen because Andile and Zari are clearly never happening. And you know what? Spoiler alert, they were never gonna happen. The whole thing felt staged to me. The chemistry they keep talking about just didn't come through, you know? And so I'm glad we can move on from that. And that's because Zari and Diamond Platt clearly have no intentions of moving on from each other. If I were to count the number of times Zari boasted about being the number one lady in Diamond Platinum's life because they have children together, history together, they used to be married, it would add up to half of Zari's entire time on the show this season. No doubt she wanted new lady Fontana to know that Diamond Platinum belongs to her. And that stands whether or not they are divorced. But then Zari went on IG and blasted Mr. Platinum as he, he's obsessed with me and should stop using her name to get with young girls. Fresh Fanta responded and claimed that Zari has reconstructed her entire body just to look like her. Listen, they are doing all of this over Diamond Platinum. That time, Fantana could have just sat there and vibed with Luj. He made it clear as soon as he arrived that he's kinda into her and told her to stop wasting her time with Diamond Platt. But Yena Ukul had a better connection with Diamond Platinum because he looks like a player and she is about that life, apparently. She literally said Luj is too soft. I mean, why would she say that? She clearly prefers the game with Diamond Platinum. I'm gonna say though, Fresh Fanta is no dummy. She's been very clear that she doesn't really see anything serious or long-term with Diamond Platinum. He's one of the many guys that she's been exploring a connection with and bounces whenever she wants to, okay? Check He's a player, but she runs the pitch. Feel me? It was lovely seeing Bonang back on reality TV on a more regular basis, but her decision to be part of the show was a mistake in my opinion. She felt out of place the entire time and her forced beef with Luj felt one-sided, blown out of proportion for some camera time and in general, she didn't come out looking good at all. I'm kind of good, I'm okay with Kanye, she's carrying the show but y'all don't want to hear the chat because she's messy. Nadia is neutral and chilled but will pounce when necessary like the times she gathered Swanky Jerry and totally led Tobaba to run his mouth and take a big L. What did you guys think of season 2 of Young, Famous and African? Chat back in the comments, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, ciao!